What an opportunity we have here in the Oakland A's franchise. Up 2-0 in the World Series. We need just two more wins to secure the title and complete the rebuild. And that could happen here today. As we play games three and four against the Dodgers, with Ken Waldachuk and Joe Michael getting the starts, we're guaranteed the next three games, if necessary, will be at home. Can we actually clinch the World Series in our house, the stadium we created for this franchise? That would be unbelievable. We managed to go up 2-0 behind a couple really exciting wins against the Dodgers. We had a clutch home run late from Eusneel Cruz to vault us, well, to tie the game in Game 1. And then in the 10th inning, it was Tyler Soderstrom, the series' first homegrown star, who gave us the go-ahead run. And in Game 2, Eusneel Cruz came to play once again. And Game 2 saw us score 6 runs, one of our highest totals of the entire postseason. And the pitching's been consistent throughout. We've only allowed four runs in the two games against the Dodgers. And now we'll see if we can withstand a bit more desperate Dodgers team that's already down two. And they know this is a must-win game in game three. Welcome home, everybody. The World Series here in the Athletics Park, built especially for this franchise. The pitching is what's got us here. Ken Waldachuk has had a number of great starts already in the postseason as he works toward a contract extension. And let's get it underway. Waldachuk starts for the fourth time here in the postseason. He's only surrendering a .87 whip and a 1.80 ERA in 15 innings. So his starts have averaged about five innings a pop. And here against Andres Jimenez, we start with a ground ball. And you'll notice at first base, yes, Vladimir Guerrero will be starting today for the first time since, I want to say, early in the ALCS. It's been a while, and he's been coming off the bench. But I'm feeling today is a good day for Guerrero to be back in the lineup. 1-1, one, one, and that's low. For the bullpen now, after the travel day, almost everybody's at full stamina. Aaron Ashby, he is good to go for this game. I will probably not use Griggs. We're going to want Ashby at some point. A fly ball from Jimenez. Carlson gloves it. In the first two games, I just got the impression that we have a favorable matchup using lefties. And we're starting our two in the rotation today. They're not even seeing Joe Michael quite yet. We're saving him for game four. Already two gone in the inning. Here is William Contreras, their big slugging catcher. 2-1, and a ground ball into center field. It's a base hit. And Mookie Betts hasn't had a great start to the series. Did have an extra base hit in the ninth inning of game two. But otherwise, I think he's been struck out at least four or five times. A drive deep to left off the bat of Betts as the Dodgers start quick in game three. Mookie Betts clobbers number four of the postseason, and it's what the Dodgers needed to start this game. They've now matched their run total from each of the first two games of the World Series. I want to see where this ended up because I was trying to go fastball on the outside corner. While the Chuck usually has pretty good command of it. And this one, you know, it's not far off from where I wanted it. Just a little bit lower. Mookie Betts still has that pop and that makes it 2-0 LA. Now they went up 2-0 in the first inning of game one. And those were the only runs they scored. If you only score in one inning against our offense, it's probably not going to be enough. But it's also been very hit or miss if our offense comes to play. So let's see what we got here. Jose Barrios, the former twin in Blue Jay, gets the start. He's been very reliable in the postseason, and the Dodgers need a gem from him. I know right off the bat, being a Twins fan, seeing him start a number of games, he's going to throw that slurve a ton. If it's on, 
it, it's really tough to manage. But if he misses any of those, we know what can happen. Dylan Carlson leads off, and the fastball's in there. There's a first look at it as it did go inside. Two strikes. Soft ground ball to the right side and one down. Our eyes hitting 280, the highest batting average in this lineup. Not exactly close. Cruz is batting third, Soderstrom behind him. But the five through nine hitters have all had their postseason struggles. Hasn't been a complete lineup in the postseason. And it's surprising we're in this position right now, given the pitching has had to carry so much of the weight for this team. Foul down the line. Got some elevation on that slurve. Two former twins going head to head. A line drive. Base hit from Mariz. Seen a thousand of those. And here would be one of our postseason MVPs. For sure the best offensive player we've had. He already has three homers in the World Series alone. The big one in Game 1 and a pair in Game 2. And Cruz turns on the fastball! He's done it! Number 4 of the World Series! This game is tied! And baseball's newest superstar has emerged at just the right moment. One thing that's so evident in this game, players get hot, players get cold. There's no mistaking which of the two crews has been. It's like a fresh ball game all of a sudden. Ooh, there's a, there's a good slurve, the one we have to watch. And I just couldn't do it. To center, Franmil Reyes a little bit late ends the inning, but we get the two back. Here's a new face. Charlie Melendez. So he doesn't face righties. He does face lefties. He's the PCL All-Star for this year, so he must have been a late addition to the roster. He hits righties better than lefties, but for whatever reason, he's in today, and he's playing left field. So he's in for Kyle Lewis. And he's down 0-2. You know, while the Chuck throws a slurve as well. And there's a look at it. Strike three. Bellinger now, that's given a ride, and Cruz runs it down. Now how about the bottom of this order? Miguel Vargas, Trey Sweeney, Vladdy, Aaron Don, all guys who have mostly struggled throughout the postseason, at least offensively. Now Vargas did deliver in game two, had the two-run single to untie the game late. And then they hit him after that. Ooh, that's, that's the best pitch we'll see all day. Vargas turns on a slurve towards the palm trees. Still one of my favorite things about this stadium is that little feature over there. 2-2. Two, two. And full. No stranger to full counts here to lead off innings in the World Series. That's just a filthy pitch. What was my timing on that? Because I did hold a tick late. Yeah. I sat back, just swung through it. Sweeney hits one the other way for a base hit to left. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First start in a while and takes a fastball inside. Has no homers, no RBIs, but does have seven hits. And I'm fairly certain they're almost all singles. Now he towers one to left field. That got some distance, too. He didn't miss by much. Yeah, if his average and slugging are the same, then it's all singles. Seven singles is all he's had. Seven bases. Now Aaron Dunn. 
That was late anyway. That gets away from the catcher and into scoring position goes Sweeney. So how does that impact Aaron Don's like hitting ratings here? Because he usually has 98 contact against righties. His uh, clutch is definitely lower. And he's down looking anyway. Good stuff from Barrios. This is another new player. What position is he playing here? Third base. Okay. Yorbit Vivas. Grounder to Sweeney. Gets set. And not in time. Top of the order for LA. Jimenez. One for nine so far in the World Series. Now sends one to the gap. Carlson trying to run it down. He comes up short. Jimenez delivering, Vivas around third, he will score as the Dodgers retake the lead. And it's the first time they've scored in two separate innings, I want to say. Fastball was left over the middle that time. Hoping to keep it to the one, but have the best hitters coming up now. He went around so it's going to be a strike. 0-2. Oh, Did he go? No. Got him with the high fastball. Because it's been a rocky start for Waldachuk, I do have Vasquez getting warm now. Here's Contreras. Fastball command has been iffy. We'll see if the off speed gets him back on track. Good slider, no call. And this one's lifted, but Cruz could have a play in foul ground. And tagging or bluffing. I know we don't have the best arms in the outfield, but come on. Now Mookie Betts. Two for eight in the World Series. Clobbered a fastball last time. Oh, he's taken off. Was not ready for that. Risky with two down in the World Series to do that. Got a piece of it, but now behind in the count. Wow. Wall that Chuck puts it right on the edge. Two and two. Did he go? He didn't. Full count. And taken low, Betts walks to first. I thought we threw some excellent two strike pitches there. Ball the Chuck now with two on. Nails the edge. Good changeup. Strike away from closing the inning. Popped up. Soderstrom kept calling for fastballs, and he was right. Dodgers lead by one. There's a rise delivering again. To the gap in left center, it's cut off, and after getting halfway there, goes back to first. You Sneal Cruz. We know what he's been up to. I thought that might be it, but let it go for a ball. Fastball now. I'm really sitting more off speed against him. To right center and hit pretty well. Cruz has one off the wall. And here comes the rise. Home to tie it. Three apiece. You steal Cruz doing all the damage. Opposite gap power. And that one came close to getting out. Hoping for a good at-bat now from Soderstrom. He's been one of the more reliable hitters we've had. Ooh, change up elevated. I think I'm already loving the combination of our eyes two, Cruz three. Soderstrom hits one high into the night sky. Bellinger makes the catch. 
Hey, the party isn't necessarily done yet when you got Fran Mill Reyes in the five spot. Only hitting 212, but four homers. He tends to make his hits count. A ground ball, the short as Barrios gets away with one. Right through it is Brandon Lewis. Ball to Chuck for his fourth inning of work. One and two. And a ground ball. Sweetie knocks it down, but no chance. A little more offense than we've been used to in these postseason games. Three apiece in the fourth. Two strikes on Melendez, who already struck out once. Makes it twice on the fastball. Bellinger hits in the eighth spot against lefties. Numbers are pretty good, but a lot of that success is against right-handed pitching. Caught by Vargas. Double play turn. I guess now the question is, can anybody besides... You sneal Cruz driving a run. How about somebody here in the bottom of four of the lineup? Counts full. And flailing. I don't know. I've seen the slurve so many times. If I see it, you know, 40 times in a game, I'm going to have probably five or six really ugly swings like that at least. A drive hit the other way. Sweeney sends it deep. Has a chance to go, but is caught on the track. Guerrero has zero extra base hits in the postseason. That must have been late. A 2-2 count. That was good timing, but on the later bit of the good window. Guerrero with a strike to third. This is the inning. We'll see if I need to make a change. Vargas can't make the play, and Vivas is aboard again. Cruz will show off his arm. Not as impressive as his bat. He's given up three runs, six hits. Might not be a bad idea to look at our bullpen now, especially with... Their best hitters coming up. I don't know about Vasquez, though, with 59 pitching clutch. I don't have anybody else warm right now. But I probably trust someone like Hernandez a little more. So I'm going to have to buy a little time here. But we're going to make the change. While the Chuck goes four innings, not his best work, but fastball just wasn't quite as sharp today. And now we'll see if we can get an inning or two out of Hernandez. If this inning goes well, I could see us going to Vasquez after to start a fresh inning against the middle and bottom of the order. Although that does include guys like Bellinger, who all of a sudden become, you know, some of their best hitters against righties. So we're probably always going to have a lefty, you know, possibly getting ready. 1-2 on Jimenez. Hung it, and it doesn't matter. Strike three. If I don't have Griggs go today, it's Montez and Ashby. Going to get Ashby ready in case. Wow, another one hung. Lux grounds it to second. Vivas moves up. This is the reason I wanted the righty, though. I knew we'd get to Contreras, and it's a lot more favorable. Right on right, sliders. Off the plate, falling behind. In front of that one, counts evened up. Let's test his discipline on this one. Grounded to Sweeney. And the game remains tied through four and a half. Aaron Don, bottom five. A forgetful postseason at the plate. He's hitting 105. Did hit the ball hard a couple times in game two. 
We've had so many walks here in the postseason. I'm not sure if Aaron's actually had any of them. He's the guy whose speed is actually dangerous. And we got ourselves a full count. Big pitch. And chase the slurve again. Carlson! With a loud foul. What a play at third base, and Carlson's retired. That's the only time I'm going to get perfect, perfect on a sinker down and away like that. Pretty good game three here for Vivas at third base. Ooh. That's how good a rise is, though. He can get to that ball. He's two for two, and so is Cruz. We have a good thing going there. He's got one to drive into right. Bets at the wall, and it's gone! Luis arrives with a two-out solo shot. He turns on the Barrio Slurve. He's now three for three. How big of a signing has this guy been? When it's elevated, you have to be ready to turn on it. You'll get chances against guys like Barrios. I wasn't worried about that. Can this guy stay perfect? Missing inside. Action now in the bullpen are Kitty and Sheehan. Three and one, bases empty to use Neil Cruz. That's a good pitch. And now 3-2. I'm just hoping we don't chase something awful. I knew I was going to screw it up one way or another, though. But hey, we did take the lead. And now we've got to try protecting it. We got Hernandez up here. And I think I do want to keep him in the game right now. Wow, just... He is missing a lot over the plate, though. That He shouldn't be pitching much longer. He does a good job, typically, of avoiding homers, is all. And he strikes out bets on three. He's been used seldomly, but Henry Vasquez is going to come in. I'm still iffy on Ashby with him not being 100%, and he has had some rough outings as well. So I, I do have a little bit of thought about trying to keep him ready for game four and just have him full energy. Waving is Grissom falling behind Vasquez. Big pitch two and two. And now full. Searching for a base runner of any kind. Into center. Base hit. Brandon Lewis, the batter. Perfect pitch from Vasquez. This one's poked softly to Carlson. Two outs. Melendez, a strikeout victim in both of his at-bats. Good pitch from Vasquez. Looking for one more. And he gets the soft tapper. And a zero in the sixth. We're into this LA bullpen. Jose Urquidy comes in. Lefties are giving him a problem. Here's a pretty good one. Soderstrom smokes it to second for an out. I think we've hit the ball pretty well in this game. I'm really happy with the offense at the moment. Although a lot of it's coming from just a couple guys. We have six hits and five from Arise and Cruz combined. A little bit out in front. Urquidy throws a ton of off speed. Good slider for strike three. Here comes Aaron Ashby to start the seventh. Eli Morgan is also getting warm. We got Bellinger up. Jimenez will be up third in this inning. 
This is the area I wanted to use him. It's a grounder at Vargas. The former Dodger makes the play. Jorvit Vivas has had a great game today. Dodgers now have to get something going late. 2-2 two -two count. Grounder. Arise, tracks it down, makes the play. A lot of times I have Ashby go further than the one inning, even just one or two more batters. I'm not sure that'll be the case this time. A quick outing should keep him really fresh for game four. And he's a strike away from ending the inning. Missing low. One, two. Did he go? No. Two and two. There's a grounder. And nothing leaves the infield here in the seventh. I'd like to get one more insurance run here if possible. We've been scoring every other inning in this game. We'd be due here in the seventh. On top of it. Bounce to second. He got lucky. Guess who's going to be on the cover of MLB The Show 24? One of the A's franchise legends. That was a good swing, I know it. That was just early. Right to short. Second time he's hit one hard like that, and it's been lined out. And then the guy who's one for 10 in the series, Aaron Don with two down. And he puts down a good bunt. Contreras chases it down, but there's no play. It's what you got to do sometimes when a guy is this ice cold. He happened to bunt a really good pitch to hit there. Thinking about a steal. Don gets a little extra lead and they throw over. I don't think he'll pitch out now behind in the count. Don goes. Contreras nails him at second base. Do I want one more at-bat then? It really doesn't matter what you do against Lux. Eli Morgan's eighth appearance, and he's been really strong in the postseason. He's been a good postseason or deadline acquisition. Murphy getting warm. Trying to see if we'll carry a lead into the ninth. We know the Dodgers... Are going to give us everything they got here late. It's pretty much a must-win game. It's not often teams come back from three games down here in a best of seven. Lifted the left center. Cruz to the gap. I still can't believe we pulled off the comeback without, like, a huge surge from the offense. After we got the first win, I was, like, thinking to myself... If variance just turns around and some of these pop-ups can be hit better, that's foul, and we can start to, you know, hit more to our capabilities, I could see us having like a couple seven-run games in a row. Now, that never happened. The pitching has just been so good, and we had enough timely offense to get here. And now we're four outs away from a three-game lead. Morgan just got two of their best, but now faces Mookie Betts in what could be one of his last seasons. Our day essentially began with a Mookie Betts homer. Gonna pitch pretty carefully to him. Good curve, or not curve, change up. Inside, Grissom on deck. And we walk him. Pretty good pitches there. We pitch around Betts. Now get Grissom. Fastball in. Arise makes the catch. This lead will make it to the ninth. And Penn Murphy will have a chance to put us one game away. 
But now we have Dylan Carlson in the top of this lineup. They'll have to face Eusneel Cruz one more time. They're hoping Urquidy takes him to the end. They only have to use two pitchers. Carlson does it again. Oh my God. The hanging slider. He does not miss it. Five homers in the postseason. He and Cruz are a dynamic duo. These corner outfielders now have nine combined, or are we talking 10 combined postseason home runs? I don't know what it is about this time of year. Carlson's our Mr. October. He's certainly not Mr. July. No one's going to accuse him of that. Arise lets it get in on the hands. That's an easy one. Now we have Eusneel Cruz. Tie with Carlson in home runs in the postseason at five each. 3-0. and oh. Will he see a strike? We did. We weren't ready. That's to center. Not hit great. Two down. Soderstrom hits it straight up the middle. Base hit. That means Reyes gets a chance to swing. And hits it weakly up the middle. And the inning is over. So we head to the ninth inning with a chance for a 3-0 lead. And here comes Penn Murphy. Four for four in postseason save opportunities. He saves some of the biggest games of the postseason. He gets the six, seven, and eight hitters. We're going to make a defensive change, and we're going to get Zach Geloff in at second base. Dodgers need a base runner, first and foremost. So we need to throw strikes here and make Lewis earn it. He chops it. Guerrero with the play and one down. Charlie Melendez. That's a bender over the middle. Sailing upstairs, 2-1. A piece from Charlie and the count's evened up. That misses. Melendez up with Bellinger on deck. Fighting off fastballs. Soderstrom wants us to stick with it. And he got him around. Strike three. One more, everybody. Cody Bellinger, the former Oakland A. That's a tough one inside there. I trust him to throw it to lefties. He's an all-star for a reason. Popped up. And the Dodgers down to their last strike in game three. Missing low. Count is evened up. There's strike three. And the A's take a 3 nothing lead over the Dodgers. And every game from here on out will be an elimination game. With the A's a win away from a World Series championship. We now have won seven consecutive postseason games. And now the ace comes to play in game four. Truly a remarkable season for our A's. We were down 3-0 in the ALCS and now we're up 3-0 in the World Series. We know exactly what we cannot allow to happen now. All we need is one more win, and we have the perfect guy on the mound in this one. Is this it? Could this be the last game of our season and the final victory that we need for the title? A's and Dodgers, one more time today. Should we lose this game? Next episode is game five. Should that not go our way, then game six. You get it. But here, 
is the one and only Joe Michael. Back-to-back Cy Young Award winner. He's been lights out in the postseason. Four starts, 3-0 and record. He's averaging about six innings a start. Quite the decorated resume for a 22-year-old pitcher. Welcome to game four. With a strike at 99. Two seamers in there as well. And he strikes out Andres Jimenez. Lux squares up the curve. It's in the center. Don cuts it off. Will be a very tough throw. Little late getting the gel off. We do have Geloff in there at second, arise at first, like the other games we've played. But the Dodgers have a, an extra base hit as their backs are against the wall. Desperate in game four. It'll take more history for them. Byam at 94 to get ahead. A ground ball at Geloff. We have two. And then Mookie Betts. Great start to game three. Another chance to do the same. Fastball strike. That's going to reach the seats, and it's 0-2. He struck him out, and Michael leaves Lux at third. Gavin Stone is the Dodgers pitcher in game four. I skipped over his stats, but I am curious. This season, he had a 4-4-7 ERA with a 1-3-1 whip. He doesn't give up a lot of home runs. He can walk a few from time to time. His numbers are interesting. In the postseason, he has a 9.0 ERA, though. He throws in the mid to low 90s. Has a pretty standard arsenal changeup. Fastball, slider. That was um, way too late. Carlson hits one high. And deep to right field. Betts at the wall and it's over his head. Carlson scrambling. Once three. He's in safely. Leading 3-0 in the series. We have a triple to start game four. I don't know what it is about the postseason, but Carlson's one of the best players we could ever ask for here. Arise is next. We have 21 hits now in the World Series. And Arise hits one to center field. And there will not be a tag home. Now Cruz. We have 21 hits in the World Series. And seven homers. Not bad for three games and change. Cruz to bring home Carlson. Called a ball. 16 RBIs in the postseason. That's pretty unreal for him. Oh, that was it. Why are we late at 92, man? That's strike three. Gavin Stone coming back. Gave up the triple, gets the next two, and now it's up to Soderstrom. He hits one high to right center. And Bellinger's underneath it as we waste the triple. Ahead of Vaughn Grissom. Two strikes for Michael. And it is a fair ball. Arise makes the play. A drive at Cruz in left. Way back over his head. And it'll be extra bases. I assume Cruz would get to it, but it was just out of his reach. Charlie Melendez coming off a rough game three. This one, I know Cruz can make a play on. He does. And now we got Cody Bellinger. Up high for a strike. 
There's one at 98. Vargas spears it, and no run will come home. Both teams have wasted opportunities, and it's amazing how many, like, no outs, runner at second or third opportunities we have not cashed in. Our eyes had a line drive we couldn't run on in that last inning. Then we strike out, and then it's tough with two down. A full count to Fran Mil Reyes, who was 0 for 4 in game 3. Hitting 200 now in the postseason. Chops it right back to Stone. Good pitch. I swap Sweeney and Vargas here with both struggling to get the lefty advantage here at 6. He swings through it, and that's strike 3. Getting that change up on point. Getting the whole pitching arsenal where it needs to be. That should be playable with Cruz's speed. He's got it. Michael now falling behind Jimenez. Some close pitches. Looking for a strike three and one. That'll do it. Payoff pitch, way outside. Ground ball, Sweeney starts it. A quick turn for two. Zach Geloff back in the lineup in game four. And he hits a rocket to left field that gets down for a base hit. How about Aaron Don, who brought his average up with a really good bunt in the last game? Slow change up in a good spot. Taps it, and that's gloved. Quick play, and they double up Don. Dead ball, double play Don. That was an elevated, you know, medium high slider. Good timing. Aaron just can't hit right now. If that were Carlson, it would have been a homer. Stone's throwing some really good pitches. He likes to work the bottom edge, which has been called really inconsistently in the first few innings. I mean, back-to-back -back perfect pitches. A faster pace to game four. Joe Michael. He's had some up-and-down starts, but it's been mostly strong. Contreras goes down swinging. He was fooled. And Betts can't catch up to it as he sends it to Carlson. I don't know why the score bug keeps screwing up here. I liked having the pitch count up there at all times. And it's in a good spot for Michael at 45. Grissom comes up empty. And then he reaches at it and finds some grass in left field. Brandon Lewis got a hold of one in his previous at-bat. Missing outside, we have a full count. Not trying to put two on here. Good pitch, he fights it off. I'm thinking now the fastball. And it's inside. So a chance for Melendez with a pair aboard. 98 and a strike. Trying to get this inning wrapped up with a good pitch count. And now fouled back at 99. He got him! Dodgers leaf two aboard. Arise, Cruz, and Soderstrom here in the fourth. Can the offense finally break through? That's a good pitch. Stones had a really good pace so far. 33 pitches. Up the middle and on one hop. 
One down. He's 5 for 13 in the World Series. And of those five hits, four were homers. Cruz hits one high and hard. Bets in right, tested, and he makes the play. And that one eats up the first baseman. Soderstrom's going to reach. They gave him a hit for it, it looks like. I have no judgment, really, on the hit versus error. I mean, that was only hit 93 off the bat. Reyes hits one deep to left center. Bellinger giving chase, and this one is cut on the track. Well, we've come about as close as you can to scoring without doing so. Cody Bellinger leads off the fifth. We had a runner at third, no outs, couldn't score. A couple warning track fly balls. No luck. No gust of wind to send them out. 0-2. Oh Low to Cody. 62 pitches in for Joe Michael. And he has another strikeout victim. Ooh, you got to call that one. Three and one, Yorbit Vivas. Was key in game three despite the loss. And gives a routine one to DC. Just a piece of the changeup that time. And Michael ahead of Andres Jimenez. And it's softly flied to left field. And caught by you, Sneal Cruz. Bottom of the fifth. Joe Michael's been strong, and Gavin Stone has matched him. Out at third. Both have had to manage some jams. Only three hits apiece given up, but the Dodgers have left more aboard. In the air. And hit to Bellinger in center. Easy play. The fifth inning can be tough for a lot of pitchers and both get through it cleanly. We're already in the sixth. Joe Michaels showing no signs of slowing down. For sure in this one, we want to see him go as long as necessary. Late on the two-seamer. Lux gets one and pounds it into center field. That curveball accuracy has been all over the place. Trying to throw those just low and away to the lefties, and it did not go there at all. And Michael continues to work the lower edge. Quickly gets ahead of William Contreras. Needs to be more competitive with a two-strike count. And it's lifted at Cruz, who gloves it. A strike to Mookie Betts. He's done a great job of getting that first pitch strike and controlling the at-bat that way. Ooh, that was close. A drive to left, and Betts has done it again! The two-seamer this time is ripped into the left field seats. And the Dodgers finally score. It's 2-0. Wanted it a little bit more towards the edge. But Michael finally gives up runs. The Dodgers, of course, facing elimination. Need to win this game to have a chance. If they do, we have one more game at home. I'd love to win this World Series here. Two and two. Grissom at a rise, and he catches it. Good change up again from Joe Michael, and looking for one more strike on Lewis. A drive belted to center this time. Dawn won't have a play, and that is gone. Lewis makes it 3-0 LA in a 3-0 series. 
How many times has Michael given up multiple home runs in the same inning? It might happen once a year, and this could be it. Well, bats are going to have to wake up if we want to sweep them. As bad as the offense has been, I don't believe we've actually been shut out in any of these games. But now, facing these late innings... A little late on that one. And a catch from the shortstop. A little early, I think, that time. Yeah, way too early. Sometimes these low 90s fastballs, I've talked about it before. The speed just is kind of tough for me to square up. I'd rather have it be a little faster, to be honest. You got to lean into that one. It was 0-2. Here's one of the issues, though. There hasn't been... I haven't been as patient in this game. Although, I don't think Stone is really playing around too much. He's really in attack mode. We've had a lot of single-digit pitch innings. His misses are not by much. He's really pitched a great game. Now it's 3-2 and two as we look for a base runner. And Carlson grounds it to second base. That's late and bloop towards left and it drops foul. We're making him throw more in this inning at least. I do think he's reaching the end of his energy. Three and two. I looked at his energy bar. I thought it was good for about 60 or 70. We're at 62 and a 3-2 count. Low ball four, and a chance for Cruz. 0 for 2 on the day. He's homered in the first three games of the World Series. That's low, but scooped up nicely by Contreras. Yeah, I think now we're starting to see the command go. He's thrown about as many balls in this inning as he did in the first five. I think he had 12 balls coming in and now he's at 22. Ground ball. Good play by Vivas. Got him. And we're making a change here in the seventh. Joe Michael last six giving up the three and now we turn it over to lefty Alfonso Montez. Ahead of Bellinger quickly. And he pops up the curveball. Soderstrom has this one. I really like Montez, and we haven't used him much in the postseason. I think he's been pretty valuable. He's throwing nothing but strikes. Again for Cruz, tested, makes the backhand catch, a 1-2-3 seventh. Still no change from the Dodgers, they rely on Gavin Stone for a seventh. And a base hit to right is how we start things. That one left over the plate. Hoping they keep him in a little too long. Reyes swings through the fastball, and that was right there for the taking. Base hit center field. And we've got two aboard. Thinking about running here, but that takes Reyes out of the lineup, and he's behind someone anyway. Trey Sweeney has two on. What a chance here. Missing in. Scorched to short, but a great play. Grissom starts the double play. Two base hits and then a sharp, perfect swing and it gets two outs. Got to have good defense at short. And now just one out away. That really deflates this comeback opportunity. Pop back foul, another fastball over the plate. 
And his velocity is dipped now to 89. Full count. Geloff on deck. I wonder if we'd see a pitching change. Full count. And it's just hit foul. How nice would it be to get this one back at least, though? He drives it out to center, and Bellinger is there. Thought we swung the bat pretty good in that inning and still have no runs. We go top eight with Andre Palante. One pitch, and Vargas stops it to get the first out. Two and two count to William Contreras, and that one is hammered foul. In the dirt, full count. And he leaves it over the plate as Contreras skies it. Catch by Don. Mookie Betts doing everything he can to keep the Dodgers in this series. And he goes down looking. Still no change? You're kidding me. They have lefties getting up, and they're not using them yet. Kellogg flies it, and that's for bets and right. And we're down to our last five outs now in this game. And we're going to take Aaron Don out of the game now. And Miguel Cabrera is going to come off the bench. This is the situation where I want him. We're desperate right now for offense. We're down three. So Cabrera comes in. And that's headed to the gap in left center. Belted off the track. Cabrera has a double. Lineup turns over, and it's Dylan Carlson now. Well hit foul. 86 pitches for Gavin Stone. Chopper right side. Play made at second, two down. And the inning is left now to Luis Arise. Hitless in this game. And it's speared at second base. The line drives just cannot find their way past. And we're going to the ninth inning. We still have Palante in. And I'm probably going to warm up Kendrick Haynes. Eusneel Cruz moves to center. And Cabrera now takes over left. 12-6 drops in. And he strikes out on the two-seamer. And now we're going to get Kendrick Haynes into this game in a 3-0 hole. That should be out of a rise range, but two strikes now on Lewis. In the air, Cruz Manning center makes the play. Beautiful cutter there. Got him. So the pitching does the job once again. They've only allowed three. But the offense, scoreless, going into the ninth. Our last chance to try and sweep LA. They're trying to chip away at our 3-0 lead. One more inning will do it, and they have Gavin Stone staying in. They're going for a complete game shutout in the game Joe Michael started. 91 pitches for Stone. He has no energy. They just trust him. Oh, man, and why wouldn't they, the way this is working out? They just got you Sneel Cruz on a pop-up. What a play. Stone makes it two down. Stone struggling to find the strike zone, although he should have had a strike in this sequence. His 99th pitch of the night is a strike. It'll take at least 100 to finish us off. And it's weekly hit, and they place the infield perfectly. 
The game is over and the Dodgers take game four. It won't be a sweep here in the World Series and our seven game winning streak in the postseason is snapped. We still only need one victory, but now we only have one more at home. And what a night for Gavin Stone. He outpitches Joe Michael, relying on defense behind him to make a lot of plays. He only struck out three. I thought we hit the ball all right. You know, we got shut out, but we hit the ball hard. We had chances. This only shows the last 40 pitches for Stone, but in that sequence, there were only a few that were like easy takes outside. This guy really did a good job low in the zone, and there wasn't a lot that I liked to hit until late, and even that didn't work out perfectly. We hit eight line drives off of him, so I think we had a lot of good swings. I really wanted to see us win this with Joe Michael taking game four, but it's not the way it goes. Logan Gilbert should get the mound in game five against Tariq Skubal. We did not face Skubal yet in this series. If we get to game six, Bueller pitches again for LA. Urias would be scheduled for game seven if necessary i wonder if bobby miller went on injured list after uh that line drive that hit him in the head yeah that's exactly what happened so it's not a sweep it's difficult to do that anyway and so is winning eight straight in the postseason but if we can regroup we can still take the world series at home and not let this get dramatic for the dodgers so i'll be back again soon with another game and it's an elimination game again for L.A. We'll see if we have what it takes against Scooble. And I'll see you then. Thank you all for watching today's episode. And please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We're only one win away from the World Series. And hopefully next time we can bring it home. Have a great day, everybody.